In this class, we will see the security defenses that is implementing the security defenses from the fifth unit. And uh, the various security defenses are the security policies, vulnerability assessment, intrusion deduction, virus protection, auditing, accounting and logging. Let us see all those things one by one. Implementing security defense. That means uh, the security approach in which a series of security mechanisms and controls are layered throughout the computer network or throughout the computer system to protect the confidentiality, integrity and availability of the system resources or networks and the data or information which are stored in the system or network. So, we have to protect all our resources from the threats for that we need to implement the security defenses. Okay, and the implementing security defense includes the major methods, tools and techniques that can be used to improve resistance to threats. Security policy. This is the first step of improving the security of any aspect of computing. So, the security policy is very important and there are many different types of security policies and procedures based on the operating system and based on the requirement the policies may be different. And the policies include a statement of what is being secured, okay, what is secured and how it will be secured, everything will be explained in security policy because the security policy is simply a document. Okay, and why is security policy which contains the information uh, ensuring about that the operating system maintains integrity, confidentiality and availability. Okay, so if we give uh, surety for these things then we can um, trust the particular operating system. Okay, that is integrity, confidentiality and availability should be maintained in every operating system. And the security policy should be the user's guide. And the policy should also be a living document that means it reviewed and updated periodically to ensure that it is still pretended and still followed. Vulnerability assessment. It is a systematic review of security weakness in an operating system or information system. That is vulnerability assessment means a systematic review of security weakness. Okay, and it evaluates if the system is affected to any known vulnerabilities and it recommends the remediation whenever required. Okay, and this is uh, the duty of vulnerability assessment. And this assessment can cover uh, broad ground from social engineering through risk assessment to port scans, right? And risk assessment uh, that will value the asset of entity. The assets here are the programs, management teams, systems and facility. These are assets and determine uh, the odds that a security incident will affect the entity and decrease its value. That is if the assets are affected then what is the decreased value of this asset and that should also be calculated and that will come under risk assessment. Okay, the core activity of vulnerability assessment is penetration test. Okay, this is very important and in which the entity is scanned for known vulnerabilities. In the penetration test a scan within individual system can check the variety of aspects of the system. Okay, the penetration test will scan the system of the following aspects, whether short or easy to guess passwords, if the passwords are easy to guess in the system, or unauthorized privilege programs such as setting user ID programs, if there is any automatic uh, setting of user ID programs installed in our system or not, and unauthorized programs in system directories, unexpectedly wrong running process and improper directory protections on user and system directories, 
improper protections on the system data files such as password files, device drivers or operating system kernel itself and dangerous entries in program search bar change to system programs detected within checksum values or unexpected or hidden network threats. So, these are the things we need to scan in this vulnerability assessment. Intrusion deduction, it detects intrusions into the computer system or into the network and to initiate appropriate response to that intrusions. This is intrusion deduction and there are varieties of techniques there in this intrusion deduction. First one, the time at which the deduction occurs and second one, the type of imports examined to detect the intrusive activity and the range of response capabilities signature based deduction, virus deduction or anomaly deduction. Okay, let us see these things one by one. The first one is time at which the deduction occurs. That is the deduction occurs the real time that is currently intruders enters into the system or after the fact. And second one is the types of input should be examined to detect intrusive, uh, intrusive activity that is uh, the inputs includes the user shell command process uh, that is system process call and network packet headers or the contents of network packet. So, these may be the types of input to examine the uh, intrusion deduction system and the range of response capabilities here altering that is alerting the administrator to the intrusion. Um, or sometimes halting the intrusive activity okay, by which process the intrusion taken place. So, identify that particular process and killing that process uh, so that the uh, administrator will be alerted or safeguarded. And next one is signature based deduction. Here the input or network traffic is examined for a specific pattern or the signature known to indicate attack ok. So, this is very powerful uh, intrusion deduction system ok signature based deduction. So, they are going to monitor the behavior pattern or the signature of intrusive activity right and next one is virus deduction which is otherwise called as anomaly deduction and this is a software uh, virus that is antivirus software which scans uh, binaries or network packets for known virus. If the virus is known virus then we can easily detect otherwise this is very difficult. The next one is intrusion deduction system and this is a very powerful system. This monitors the computer system or network traffic for a suspicious activity and issues alert when such activity is discovered. That is this IDS will uh, give the notification to the administrator if there is any malicious attack is happened in our system and it monitors the network for potentially malicious activity and dispose false alarms. And uh, this IDS is a software application which scans the network or a computer system for the harmful activity or any policy breaking. Okay, if there is any harmful activity or breaking of policy then immediately this IDS will alert our system administrator and it uses the security information and event management that is SIEM system which reports the administrator if any malicious activity or policy violation detected. The next one is virus protection. Uh, this is a software which is otherwise called as antivirus software designed to prevent viruses, worms, trojan horse from getting into our computer, right? And these softwares also remove the malicious code that is virus code which are already infected our computer system. And the most virus protection utilities bundled into anti-spyware and anti-malware capabilities and uh, uh, along with this antivirus protection. Okay, when come to internet security, it includes some additional capabilities like anti-spam, anti-phishing, firewall, 
and uh, file protection and PC optimization. So these things will included into this uh, internet security. The next one is logging. Logging is nothing but uh, recording all the actions and events which are taken place in the computer system. Okay, that is called as logging, uh, which is otherwise called as a record. Okay, which uh, records all the transactions in the computer. And logs are primary records of the system and network activity. Okay, this is important. Right, when security control experience failure, then the logs would be particularly helpful. Then we can easily refer from the previous record and we can try to rectify our failures. And uh, when user access a resource immediately that will recorded into the log and uh, all important metadata should also be recorded into that log. Okay, these logging operations make sure that every actions is accounted for. Okay, the, the log record contains which user has performed the action or access the resources and using which machine the, the user is accessing a resource and using an access level given by whom and all other identifying information. So everything will be recorded into the log register. The next one is accounting. Uh, this is another potential tool in security administrators kit and it can be used to find the performance changes which can raise the security problems in our computer system. If there is any performance changes then immediately we can find by using this accounting and this accounting system will provide all the transactional information which are uh, the records of actions, events and that will be taken place in the computer system or the network system. The next one is auditing. Auditing is independent entity or autonomous entity. There are two types internal to our system or it may be external to the system and the auditing that will audit the system by making sure all the records and logs maintained correctly. And by auditing we can easily identify with accurately and certainly which particular entity has performed a certain action or which particular entity accessed certain resources of the computer system or the network system. Okay, for this purpose we can use auditing. The auditing are performed to access uh, the security of the computer system. For protecting security auditing is very important and the auditing also performed to assess compliance with the security legislation. Right? And the frequency of security audit varies depending on the system and depending on the requirement and there are various types of security audits. First one is network security, web app security, blockchain security and so on. So far we have seen the implementing security difference in our computer system that will come under 5th unit and one of the important topic from 5th unit. Uh, here we have seen the security policy, vulnerability assessment, and intrusion detection, virus protection, auditing, accounting and logging. In the next class we will see another important topic from 5th unit. Thank you.